People think we're more divided as a country now than we've been in a long time. I know it can seem that way, but when I was a little kid in 1969, the Vietnam War was tearing the country apart. And they'd shot John F. Kennedy and they'd shot Bobby Kennedy. They'd shot Martin Luther King and Malcolm X. And there was the Manson family and the Zodiac Killer, and it just felt like the whole country had lost its mind. My father had grown up in the Depression. Well, his faith in humanity was just at a low ebb. And the two of us that June were driving from L.A. to Oakland in our old 1960 Oldsmobile, and the water pump blew out south of Bakersfield. And so this was long before cell phones, so we were about, well, we were going to have to hoof it like nine or ten miles into town when this young cowboy pulls up in a flatbed and offers to tow us in. And all my dad had on him for money was this old Chevron gas card, so he kept telling this young fellow, you know, I can't pay you. And the young cowboy's looking at him like, yeah, I wasn't going to charge you. So he rolls us into town, and this is a Sunday, so nothing's open. So he has to go get his mechanic friend to open up his garage, and my dad says, hey, listen, I don't have any money. And the mechanic says, you know, we'll work something out. And then they all realize they don't have the actual parts, so now they got to go roust out the local auto parts store owner, and they bring him down. And my father's like, okay, okay, we need to talk about how this is all going to get settled, because he just couldn't imagine anybody being this trusting about the money. So the cowboy says, look at it and make you feel better. I got a bunch of watermelons I need to get loaded onto my flatbed, and it's pretty hot work, and if you help me out, I'll pay for the part. So next thing you know, we're all unloading watermelons from inside a rail car, and that's about 140 degrees. And 90 minutes later, we are soaked in sweat, and up rolls the car, just run like a top. And my dad says, I really don't know how to thank you, fellas, and, uh, for this good turn. And we're turning to go, and the mechanic gets this look on his face, and says, whoa, whoa, where do you think you're going? And you could see on my father's face, just all the fear and distrust come to the surface. And he stiffened like a leopard, and the mechanic says, no, no, no. My wife's going to make us all Sunday dinner, and you and the boy can get a shower and a clean shirt, and it'll, it'll make the drive easier for all of us. So we sat down for a dinner of fried chicken from the chicken right over there and corn on the cob from the corn right over there. Man, I got to tell you, I, I, I'm, we'll never have a meal that good ever again. And my dad didn't say maybe three words the whole drive. But when we got home, I got into bed, and I was just about to turn off the light. And he stops in the doorway, and he says to me, no matter what you see in the movies or on TV or you read in the papers, you listen to me. That's how people really are. And about a month later, Neil Armstrong walked on the moon. So, keep the faith. <laughs>